Bless up, this is DJ Khaled, 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 and I want to welcome everybody to my home, and you're going to see some beautiful prized possessions of mine. Oh, oh yeah, one more thing, the studio special now, you got to go, check out the toilet bowl. Get a nice picture, get a nice look. D different angles. Show them to them. Let's go. These are special clubs made for me. Got We The Best logo on there. We The Best Music! It says Khaled Khaled. Nine Iron, it says We The Best. The Putter says God Did. Golf is like life. It's not easy, but it's beautiful. And what's so beautiful about golf is when you're out there playing the sport, you're on a beautiful golf course green and you're away from all distortion. It's peaceful, it's quiet, you hear the birds chirp. You know, it's just, you have to, and then when you, when you play golf, you have to use your mind and, and be focused to be great at it. It's my getaway. It's my peace and it makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? And that means so much to me. I love golf. In the Kyler family's home, we love putting pictures of our family, our friends. We have so many pictures just everywhere. It reminds you about life moments and happiness and your friendship and just good energy, you know what I'm saying? But out of all these pictures, love them all. But my family, which I have so many pictures all over the house of my son Asad, Alam, my queen Nicole. Look at Alam and Khaled, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, family pictures are everywhere, but then you also got, you know, more family pictures. Me and my brother, you know what I'm saying? I consider him family. My brother, my partner, um, and my idol, the queen, Riri, you know what I'm saying? That's my sis, I love her, and every day I just wanna thank her for just working with me and showing me love, and, and um, I love how she let me be Pafenti model. It was like, this. everything is just always a blessing to work with my sis. And this picture means a lot to me too. This is me and my brother Drake. You know what I'm saying? He brought me out in one of his concerts and I was just giving him a hug, man. And like every chance I get, I tell him all the time in his face, but I like to tell the public. Thank you, Drake, for always showing me love and being there for me and rocking with me. I appreciate that. I get nervous around two queens, Beyonce and Riri. Always, they help some of my dreams come true. Beyonce like changed my life, you know, put me on tour with her. You know, to be able to work with Beyonce and Rihanna on music was a huge dream for me. And my goal is to continue doing great things with my sisters, you know what I'm saying? Me growing up, I looked up to all my brothers and sisters that we talking about, and they're my idols, but they're my brothers and sisters and family now. It's more than a dream come true. It's, it's what life's about, accomplishing your goal, and then building love and friendships and relationships. <music> Trophies are beautiful, but nothing's like life and happiness. That's the true trophy, but it's so blessed to be recognized from the other greats and people and the fans that give you trophies too. So you got the, the Grammy here, the American Music Award, you got the uh, Moon Man here, you got the BT Awards, the iHeart Awards, the Soul Train Awards, the Nickelodeon Awards. This Grammy means so much to me. First of all, to be able to work with the great Nipsey was a blessing. And not just that, the song was so powerful. You know what I'm saying? Keep taking me higher and higher. So Calabas yeah. to the bar break. But don't you know that the devil is a liar? When we was making it, I was saying this is gonna be a masterpiece. I said that we was gonna win a Grammy. We was also blessed to perform at the Grammys for that song for our brother Nip. But just to work with Nip was beautiful and the song turned out beautiful. And then to work with John Legend too, come on. That was incredible. So I love this. This is a beautiful art piece by Mr. Brainwash. And this is Bob Marley, the great Bob Marley. And if you look very carefully, all this is vinyl records cut up. You know what I'm saying? Me being a DJ, um, it, immediately I love the art and then obviously Bob Marley. This also brings just, you know, uh, a blessing to when you walk in the house. It's about one love. You know what I'm saying? We love all, we one love. Um, we love everybody. On the golf course, I love playing Bob Marley. 
and of course other music, but Bob Marley, because in golf, it's good to be relaxed and not so stiffy, you know what I'm saying? And when you listen to Bob Marley, it helps me with that swing, it's that, that rhythm, that flow, and that glow. This room right here is my home studio. It's one of my most important rooms because this is where I get a chance to create and listen to music. And um, I love being in the studio, even if I'm not working or making some. I want to be in the studio just because in case some, I don't want to miss out on something, it might just happen. And that's the thing about having your access to your own studio. Um, sometimes I just come in here and we'll lay like scratch ideas or, or the samples or just, uh, if we have to uh, mumble stuff in the mic, whatever, just because to capture that that moment. This is where the magic happens. You know, we got the turntables. I don't know if people know is after I make my albums or records, before it comes out, I would put it in my Serato and I would like scratch or mix. That's how I kind of know if it's the hit or not. You know what I'm saying? Because I come from DJing, so I like to feel it, how it's going to feel on a, on a vinyl. And then I got the picture right there to remind myself that we want more. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know you walk in here just in case, you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes people need some reminders. You know what I'm saying? They ain't believe in us. God did. Yeah, so this is a 12-inch vinyl of God did with me, Ross, Little Wayne, Jay-Z, John Legend, and Friday. And um, this is limited edition. Uh, a thousand got made of the 12-inch. I wanted to make a 12-inch of that particular song because that song is, 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 is special to me and it's special to my fans out there. And to be able to work with my brother Jay-Z on a record where he did over a four minute verse is like, it's unbelievable. They're gonna talk about that forever. Oh, oh yeah, one more thing, the studio special now. You gotta, go, you gotta check out the toilet bowl. All right, so this is the studio bathroom in the world famous Toto toilet bowl gifted by Drake. You know what I'm saying? Um, he gave me, I think, like six of them. If it's not six, like four. So we have them all over the house. But the first installment was put in the studio. And it was a gift from my brother, Drake. And it's one of our favorite gifts ever. He, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? He was in here working on some stuff. A few weeks later, a shipment came of a bunch of Toto to toilet bowls. Like, come on. Like, that's the best gift ever. And these toilet bowls ain't regular. They heat the seat heat up. You got the remote control. It does the water stuff. Um, it lights up. It does, all right. If you ain't got a Toto, you ain't got a toilet bowl. Trust me, and this ain't a commercial, this ain't an ad. It's real talk. It's just a, a blessing that God blessed me with for me to provide for my family and my kids, but also accomplish all my goals and my dreams um, and things that people said I couldn't do that I'm doing, and also to bring hope and faith to people out there to see that it can happen. You can do anything you wanna do with God's blessings. And he also made sure that I'd be able to take care of my family and um, provide for my kids. And that's what it's about. 